Hey there, how's it going? I'm giving a test run of Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, and just before we get around to it, a big, long, fucking word amounts of stuff in a moment. Mortal Kombat has always been, and always will be, for millennia, the forces of good and evil have been locked in eternal battle over the control of Earth realm. Some seek to use the tournament to destroy all that is good. Others seek revenge, vengeance, power, or eternal life. Time after time, each individual threat has been vanquished. And Earthrealm has enjoyed relative peace for many years, but there is concern that Earth is once again in peril, and this time the threat of evil has two faces. It is now known that the sorcerer Quan Chi has escaped from the Netherrealm. Since his escape, Quan Chi has unlocked the secret of the ancient runestone. Discover the ancient undefeatable army of the long-forgotten Dragon King and most disturbing of all, formed an alliance with one of the deadliest enemies, Shang Tsung. With their combined strength, they plotted to overpower the only two beings who could dominate and prevent their total domination of the two realms. The first was the Emperor of Outworld, Shou Kahn, in a false show of allegiance to Shkan. They sprung their attack. They then traveled to Earthrealm by way of a mystical portal known only to sorcerers and deities. There they confronted Earth's mightiest warriors and champion of the Mortal Kombat, Liu Kang. It has been Shang Tsung's greatest desire to consume the soul of Earthrealm's greatest warrior. With Quan Chi's assistance, he achieved this goal. Liu Kang is dead. They have since returned to Outworld and are using the souls of conjured warriors to resurrect the Dragon King's undefeatable army. Should they succeed, they will have the means to conquer the Outworld and eventually Earthrealm. They will be unstoppable. I can no longer stand idly by and watch this evil consume the world. I have relinquished my status as Elder God to return to Earth and lead you all to battle against our old adversary. We must act now. We must stop this deadly alliance. Sincerely, your favorite person, uh, Raiden. Oh shit, that was a, that was a, that was a quite a winded amount of reading. Shit, could they have put any more words in there about, you know, all that stuff? Actually, I played this game on a. Uh... Ew, that's ugly. Yeah, I'm giving a test run of this game, so fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. You know what I mean? So. Well, you know, I'm going to go with my usual old school name, Sadistic. Because my usual name is Sadistic Style. But, you know, I decided to go with something. For, well, YouTube name was already used. So I couldn't be like, you know, Sadistic Style or whatever. And, okay, how do I do this? takes me to this page, and then what else? Okay, here we go. I had to, like, go back or something. I figured it would have taken me around here. Okay. Mm. Let's see. How old is 96? Ooh. Scorpion. I'm going to pick someone I'm comfortable with playing, and I fight against uh, somebody can catch it. Lime. You know, I actually do have this game on Xbox, and I played through this entirely many, many, many years ago with all the characters and all that good stuff. Did all the challenges, got all the secrets, except one that was a pain in the ass to do, and I didn't quite care to try to finish doing it. Uh, but for the most part, I was actually kind of surprised. I mean, this is ugly as motherfucker. Uh, but for the most part, it's pretty kind of accurate. Uh, kind of. There's only two buttons, and that's for the kick and the punch. Or, you know, whatever, melee, sword attack. Then a button to block and a button to, um... A button to, uh, change your fight style. I don't really think it matters, because either way, all the fight styles pretty fu much fucking suck. If I did remember correctly, though, in the game, on the console, it would be like, only one of them was like the 
he had like three attack styles or whatever. But I know I remember the third one was like, you know, his sword. But the rest of them is not his sword. Uh and obviously with other things that they chopped out, well it's just a, you know, rounded small arena in here, but in the game there was like actual environmental hazards you had to watch out for because you could fuck motherfuckers up with that. And obviously I did not know the his Finishing move combination thingy. So, fuck it. Next is, what is it? Katana. I thought Katana had like a mask on him, like a really nasty Esperella or something. But, okay, she's not wearing a mask in here. And that kind of takes me back. I remember I used to play this with friends. And my one friend, he would always kick my ass in like, you know, most 99% of the fighters we would play in. Like, you know, Mortal Kombat, not Mortal Kombat. Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Soul Calibur 2, Soul Calibur 3, um, you know, all those games. He, he you know, just wiped the floor, my, wiped the mat with my face pretty much. And, uh, then I played this against him, and he pretty much put down the fucking controller. Like, so he was just with no competition against me. So it was awesome to see for once that I was actually able to return the favor. Um, and it was interesting too. Cause, like I did borrow Mar Marvel vs. Capcom 2 for like a month or two and played the shit out of it. And then I went back and we tried to face each other, and I straight, you know, whooped his ass and returned the favor. And until, you know, he got played his character team and got refreshed on it and, you know, then I wasn't shitty. Finisher. Yeah, I don't know any finishing moves. Maybe I should have looked it up, huh? Or oh, whatever. But surprisingly, this is decent for a Game Boy Advance game. And next time, Fighting Frost. Fight shit. But I don't know, this game, uh, don't expect to see me playing this. I don't know, I don't even want to play this anymore. It looks like it bugs the fuck out, like, uh, you'll jump over a character or something, you'll still have your back turned to them or some shit. And they'll have their back turned to you as well. So. But. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna invest too much time in this game. I already played it on consoles, I already beat the shit out of it, so I'm not gonna really play this much past the test phase. Um, although, if you're looking for Deadly Alliance on Xbox, I do have it for sale for $5. Check out my Game TZ page. Maybe we can work something out, but for $5, you know, we might as well not even bother doing that. For the cost it's going to cost to ship, you could just, you know, buy it locally or whatever. Um, but actually, it's a decent game. I liked it. I'm not a, I wasn't quite a big fan of Mortal Kombat until it actually got into this 3D phase right here, and it was actually decent. I had fun with it. But, you know, as a 2D, I really did kind of suck at it. And, I mean, I'm really spoiled on stuff like Street Fighter where you just hit the back button and block, but in here there's a dedicated block button. But, hey, it looks like for the time being, I do want to thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and tune in for other videos. Bye.